Sent on our radar now is UFO movies. Uh, it's a quiet day of trade, so UFO movies also the stock not doing much. Volume's a little on the lower side. But then uh, for this year itself, the stock is down about 15%. But uh, there is now hope that the second quarter could be better. Uh, it's the best quarter in terms of ad revenue growth as well. So Kapil Agarwal, the Joint Managing Director of UFO Movies, now joins in. Uh, hi, sir. Thanks very much for joining in. Um, this in-cinema advertising, we believe, is a big chunk of uh, your earnings. Can you give us a sense of uh, what it currently stands at and what is the scope to increase it? Well, uh, you know, in Q1, we grew by 10%, and uh, we have already given an annual guidance of 30% growth. Hmm. And I think looking at the results in Q2, we are in line with our 30% uh, growth. So we are comfortable that uh, for the year, we should be able to deliver 30% growth, which I think is very good if you can compare with any multiplex chains and all, they are barely growing at like 10%. And we are growing 30% year on year. What percentage of your so, revenues come in, sir, from the in-cinema advertising? Around 35%. Okay. So 35% of your business will see a 30% growth. Could you break up this 30% growth? Uh, how much will it be on account of uh, higher yields or, you know, more value that you can charge on per minute of ad? How much would it be on account of increase in volumes? Uh, right now, we are actually... Uh, concentrating on the volume-led growth, not the price-led growth. So our pricing is going up hardly by 4 or 5 percent uh, annually because uh, as against most multiplexes who are using 15 to 20 minutes of ad inventory, uh, last year we used only 4.15 minutes of uh, inventory. So we have a huge headroom for growth in terms of the utilization of minutes. So for right now we are concentrating on the volume-led uh, growth and a very small portion of that will be coming from the uh, pricing. So can you tell us, uh, uh, like vis-a-vis -vis peers, what this uh, rate for you stands at as well for uh, your peers? Well, we are actually currently charging a fraction of what the multiplexes are charging. Now, when we talk about peers, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, we really can't compare with the multiplexes because multiplexes are only concentrated on top 50 cities. So they are in the premium eyeball uh, segment and we are in the mass eyeball segment where we have these 50 cities and multiplexes, some multiplex chains also uh, and large single screen. But we are also very deep down in the country and our network is consisting, is spread over around 14 to 1500 towns, cities and villages. So the average rate, you know, while in the premium market we also charge pretty high, but uh, when we go down to the average rate, it is far lower uh, than what the multiplexes are able to charge because of the very nature of the of where they exist. By the way, let's just try putting that correction there. It's a 30% growth that he sees in the advertising yeah. business for F517 and not on a consolidated basis uh, because the stock is reacting uh, to that. So let's just get that correction up. It's a 30% growth that he maintains for the advertising revenue business, which is 35% of your revenues, not the consolidated um, you know, revenues. But Mr. Agarwal, you want to come in on the consolidated revenues and what that might look like. Your advertising revenue have already given us a guidance and that is very very strong what about uh, you know the rest of your business for instance your virtual print business where you provide you know digital prints for tier 2 tier 3 theaters uh, that is what percentage of revenues what can be the growth that you expect over there so uh, apart from the advertising we have three more revenue streams what one is as you, as you pointed out the virtual print fee the virtual print fee is uh, seeing moderate growth uh, because, uh, you know, uh, the country is already fully uh, digital. Uh, uh, so the more the number of movies come or more the number of shows happen, you see, through the digitization that drive that we started. Now, uh, due, because of the ease of distribution of films uh, digitally, more and more films are being made. So if we go back in 2005, there were hardly six or 700 movies were made. Now, last year, we released over 1,600 movies. So as more movies, now there is a slow growth happening there. So to that extent, there is a marginal uh, increase in the, uh, in, in, the, in the BPF revenue. The second revenue stream is the rental from exhibitors for equipment. That is very stable because the number of screens are not really going up. There is hardly a 3 or 4% growth. And that is a growth that we are uh, seeing. 
the last revenue stream is the caravan cinema hmm. so caravan cinema has been losing money in the past because it is a new project but as we have given the guidance that in h2 of this year we expect it to stabilize and actually post monsoon now the vans have already started uh, running wherever the monsoon has receded uh, we have already started running the vans so okay so it stabilizes in h2 in but when uh, uh, when do you actually hope to post some uh, profit on caravan Oh, next year. Next, next year, I think okay. it should be fairly profitable. Mr. Agarwal, one final question then. Uh, what should be the overall revenue growth for UFO movies? Well, we are looking at, uh, uh, at around 15% growth uh, in the overall consolidated revenue annually. Okay. And is there scope for a margin improvement in F-517, sir? Absolutely, absolutely. How much? The margins are going to margins are going to improve because uh, you know the caravan business eventually when it stabilizes is a 40 to 50 percent margin business. Our advertising is a 60 percent margin EBITDA margin business. So as the uh, as the combination of advertising and caravan increases, the overall bottom line is uh, after of course taking care of the of increase in expenses is going to uh, will have an upward upward uh, trend. So last year we had 32% EBITDA margin, which slowly will see uh, an upward trend and it will move over years towards like 40%. That's what we expect. All right, Mr. Agarwal, I appreciate your time, sir. Thanks very much for joining in. So that's a word coming in from UFO Movies. Consolidated revenue is expected to grow 15% in FY17 and revenue growth of 30% this year. Caravan to stabilize in the second half.